I thought it'd be fun to compare our top 5 reads of 2022 and see how similar our reading taste is. So I'll go first. On spot number 5 for last year, The Heroes by Joe Abercrombie. I've talked about this book so many times and I've even, even made a dedicated review for it, but Abercrombie, this is definitely one of his best work to date. The characters are so brilliant and even though this book centers around a huge battle, I actually loved it. Abercrombie really shows how absurd it is to glorify war and I just loved everything about this book and it's also a standalone. Granted, you have to read the first law trilogy first, or at least that's my opinion, but definitely read that first and then get to the heroes because it is just so good. So what was your fifth favorite book of 2022? So my fifth favorite book was um, Children of Gods and Fighting Men by Shauna Lawless. Really, really enjoyed this read. I actually got this for Christmas from Johan. It's got some nice frayed edges. And um, what I really liked about this book was it was just a very enjoyable read. I'm really into folklore in general, so that was obviously a plus. But I also really enjoyed point of views were mothers. I feel like often mothers tend to be more sort of B characters in books, but the main characters are mothers and I really kind of appreciated that. And I'm actually currently reading this book and speaking Speaking of Children of Gods and Fighting Men, I have a really exciting announcement. Firstly, I am changing my logo and my wife has designed my new logo. Here it is. I love it and from today on, I will change my logo everywhere. And speaking of this book, my highest tier patrons, they did get a bundle last month which was inspired by the Sean Sean in the Wheel of Time. Here's an art card made by my wife, a bookmark and also some stickers. And the really exciting news is that in three months or in six months, the next bundle will have art inspired by Children of Gods and Fighting Men and one will be inspired by Legends and Latte, which is so exciting. I've already seen the designs and I love them. So for anyone who is signing up for the highest tier in the next month, we will add an additional free bookmark to the next bundle. And you'll also support me and get access to author interviews, voting rights and stuff like that. Alright, let's move on to top 4. My 4th favorite book of last year was... Ship of Magic, or actually the whole Life of Traders trilogy by Robin Hobb. I've also made a dedicated review for this trilogy. This is absolutely incredible. Robin Hobb just continuously blows me away with their characterizations. The pacing is slow, but the payoff is so worth it. This trilogy is just beautiful. I loved everything about it, and I would really, really recommend that if you're in into character-driven fantasy that is slow-paced, then definitely check out Robin Hobb because it is just mind-blowing and I will be continuing this series soon. My next top book is maybe more of a read. So it's Ken Liu's uh, Paper Menagerie, but it's specifically the short story, The Paper Menagerie. I just really enjoyed sort of the, the depth of sort of em emotional issues, trauma, cross-cultural language barriers or differences and sort of struggling through that within a family. And I think it was just very well written. It's quite sad, but very deep and meaningful. So I definitely recommend reading short story. And I know Patrick Leo, Liana's library, book born and now my wife loved this short story collection and I've heard so many great things by Ken Liu and so it's definitely a priority uh, for me this year to read some of his work. On third spot is a book that isn't even out yet and that was The Tyranny of Faith which is book two in the Justice of Kings trilogy which I think is called Empire of the Wolf. I don't know what it is but there's just something about Richard Swan's writing that speaks to my soul. I love the themes about morality, values and law and I just love how the plot is presented. I love the pacing and the writing is beautiful so if you're a fan of fantasy that doesn't have that much action but is heavy on dialogue politics and intrigue definitely pick up this trilogy you won't regret it on number three is piranesi Woo! um so i really enjoyed this read it's not a very thick book quite quick to read through i think i read it in a 24 hour ban almost <laughs> and i just really enjoyed the whole aspect of you don't know anything and that's the point i'm not going to spoil anything and it's very beautifully written I loved how beautifully it is written and this sort of almost like symbolism and sort of <clears throat> mythology is kind of like brought into it, statues and, and things like that. So um, so I just, yeah, I really loved reading this book. Guys, she loved Paranesia. I've said it so many times. Please pick this up. It is so short. It is so great. And we had some really great discussions afterwards about this book. The themes are brilliant. So yeah, you don't have an excuse anymore. Pick it up. You can read it in like less than a week for sure. Susanna says that you should read it. Yes. My second favorite book of 2022 is Words of Radiance, book two in the Stormlight Archive of Brandon Sanderson. Again, I've also made a dedicated review for this one, but this book is even better than Way of Kings. And I loved Way of Kings. The stakes are higher. The pacing is better. And the amount of incredible character moments in this book is absolutely absolutely fantastic. And yes, this book is very thick. You can see how short Pyrenees is compared to this two-volume book. 
but this book actually didn't even feel that long, which is absolutely mad. I think it's like 1100 pages, but the pacing was just spot on and the payoff is just incredible. So yes, I finally understand the hype for why people love Words of Radiance so much. So yeah, please pick up the Solmat Archive. Okay, book number two for me is um, super famous and you should all know it. Jokes. It's um, Human Broso by William Heinzer who's a uh, writer, probably one of the m most famous Faroese authors, and he's, he's qu quite a famous artist as well. Um, and it's particularly his short story called Grilla, uh, Night of the Gryla in English. It's translated to English. You can actually Google it and look it up and then read it. And I wrote my dissertation about this. So, and it's folklore, Faroese folklore, very interesting, very niche as well. Um, so I would recommend it's got really good themes in it and it's just very interesting because it's quite different to a lot of other folklores It's even different in, in Faroese standards, which is why I was sort of interested in reading it So I would definitely recommend and on spot number one and you probably know this is Lies of Loch Lamora This was such a huge surprise I picked this up five days before the year ended and it ended becoming my favorite read of the year I just love when a gang of misfits come together to try and pull off something impossible and there's a huge heist element in this book Which I love the character of Loch Lamora and all the side characters are just brilliant and the writing is so 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 good. I just loved everything about this. The characters, the politics, the dialogue. I can finally understand why people love it so much. And yes, this series is unfinished but you can kind of read this as a standalone. I'll definitely give the other two books a try as well but definitely at least pick up Lies of Loch Lamora. I loved it. It was a five out of five star read for me and I can't recommend it enough. All right, book number one for me. Jumped on the bandwagon about this one, I think. I'm glad my mom died. Jeanette McCurdy from Nickelodeon. This is sort of her story. She's telling her side of, of everything with her life and what's happened to her and especially her relationship with her mum. And it was extremely fascinating. Very, very interesting. And I think that she, her writing is very good. And the way that she sort of explains difficult situations and how she also uses humor in, in ways to cope and to sort of present her own mindset in that situation because she was just living it. So she wasn't thinking outwardly depressing about this sort of thing. Really, really good book. Also an easy read, um, short, like easy read in the sense that it's physically easy to read. It's not an easy read in the sense that um, it, there's a lot of triggers. Um, so there's eating disorder, mental health, um, a lot of sort of topics are very deep and, and very intense and a lot of people can maybe resonate to, to at least something in here. So um, I, I just thought it was a very, very interesting and my top read of 2022. So these are my top five read of last year and those- These are mine. <laughs> so who do you think has better reading taste? I definitely enjoy my fantasy stack a bit more, but I think your taste is also quite good. Yours is more difficult to hold because there's some big boys on there. Some chunky boys. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to get access to the art bundle for in two months time, which will be inspired by either Children of the Gods and Fighting Men or Legends of Latte, please make sure to check that out. And speaking of Patreons, special thanks to my Patreon support what I do here. I really appreciate it. All right, see you in the next video.